Okay, now we have the uh, J.R. Smith harps from the unboxing. And if you haven't seen the unboxing, I'll put a link in the above little box there. Now, I do want to do some cleanup on these. These are playable, awesome old J.R. Smith harps, but they're too rusty really to be put in the mouth. The gaps on these, they're really nice, so I want to be careful, especially this one. Look at this. This is... That's a bad AF style gap. That's, this one is the by far the most melodic. But I'm gonna take, and we're gonna put it on the wire wheel, slowed way down. We're gonna do the exterior of the frame, and then when we do the interior of the embouchure area, we're gonna do something different in the wire wheel, because the last thing I wanna do is be cutting those nicely consistent tight gaps off there. Okay, we got the bench grinder with the wire wheel on it. The first thing we're gonna do, turn it on, and I'm gonna slow it way down. I can speed it up, but I want it about on the slowest setting. I'll wipe that off so maybe you can see. I go real carefully along the outside. Don't catch your trigger, see? We're already doing way nicely in the middle of that. And there we go, take it down to the metal. Now I can do this inside area. I just want to avoid putting the wire wheel on the embouchure. So I can hit this area here. Careful when you're doing this that the, the wheel doesn't grab it and suck the harp out of your hand. And if you don't have a bench grinder that you can slow the wire wheel on, do not use it because with a wire wheel at full speed, it's way too fast. So for safety purposes, so you don't ruin your harp, only do one on a variable speed. job of cleaning the outsides of that up. Yeah, these are pretty well badly rusted. Get everything we can off. Careful, it doesn't suck it out of your hand or grab this trigger and bend it flat or break it off. So if you're doing triggers, be very, very, very careful. I'll probably actually finish polishing the insides of this with the Dremel. Let's go on over there. Now we have our rotary tool and always, always, always wear safety guys. Protect them peepers um, unless you want to yeah, look like a pirate with one eye. Okay, we have our rotary tool. I have a soft brass brush. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna turn this way down. I also have a polishing brush, but I don't wanna use this one on the inside. Let's see how this works here. To go as slow as we possibly can. You want to gently remove the rust. There's some pitting here. I'm going to get all the rust out of there I can. I can hold the reed back. Getting in all the areas I couldn't get in safely with the wire wheel. Okay, 
Sí, sí. There's going to be some areas I just can't get in with this. Going to have to do it by hand. Oh, maybe. Oh, easy. Don't break the trigger. Left handed here. Hmm. There's all this free hand, then I think I'm gonna go clamp it in the vise. I really I really need a fine control for this. much easier to get this backside because I don't have the knee bend of the trigger in the way. Yeah, I just bumped the camera. That was me. Careful not to grind too much on the edges there. Those fine, nice gaps will, will get larger if you do that. It looks like I need it. still need to get in this area right here. I think I'm going to use little bit of steel wool just to get into that area. Now you gotta be really careful. It's really easy to make the gaps bigger. I'm really having a hard time getting into that knee bend area of the trigger. It's just a tricky area. I did this one because this one has the largest gaps. First, It's going to be the least picky. Trying not to press clear down into the inside. Steel's a little bit more abrasive than that brass is. Okay, that ain't that ain't too bad. I think last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of polishing of the trigger. I'm going to do that with a super fine, super fine abrasive sponge. And this one's actually about wore out, so it's going to be less aggressive than it would be when it's new. To go on the end of the Dremel or rotary tool, whatever you want to call it, Dremel's a brand. Rotary tool, I believe, is the technical name. Got your safety glasses. You need hearing protection. Whoa, protect your ears, protect your eyes. Especially if you're a jaw heart player, you want to be able to hear what you're playing as well as feel it. So let's go ahead and let's fuck this off. You want it to flow well over the over the finger. Shine it's putting on there. You don't want any drag. If you notice an oh, there we go. If you notice, yeah, the, the bench is a little bit dirty. That's okay. You want it to be polished enough that it doesn't drag on the finger. One of these other harps was so rusty, it actually drug on the finger so hard that it stopped the sound. You don't want that. Oh yeah, that feels nice. If it feels smooth, you know it's about right. Now, this harp is not yet ready to put in your mouth because it's covered with abrasives, it's covered with dust. You don't want that. We need to wash this off real good. Okay, now we got our harp. We got about all the rust we're gonna get off of it safely. And come on over to your sink. Get some hot, I'm gonna use some hot soapy water because there's gonna be a whole bunch of black gunk on there and rust and bits of wire wheel on there, abrasive, stuff that we don't want to put in our mouth. We're gonna wash it off 
really, really good. One of the best soaps I've found for doing this. Any dish soap will work. The Dawn, um, I don't like for dishes because it literally strips all the oils out of my hands. It drives my hands out real bad. But for cleaning harps up after you've had them in the shop, removing rust, the Dawn, it just works better. It cuts things down really effectively, but it will strip the oils right out of your hands, I've noticed. Oh, it's so hot water. A little bit too hot for my fingers. See how it's turning my fingers red? Oh. Temper that a little bit with some cold water. Good indicator is wipe it on there. See? There, a little bit's coming off still, so. Yeah, see, it's still got a little bit of gunk on there. Let's give it the towel test. Mm, coming off pretty clean. So the side is a little bit, oh, look at that. The towel test is good, nothing's coming off. There's still a little bit of pitting. A little bit of rust right up near the ends. Okay, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you get it really, really good and dry. Use a towel, you can use a paper towel, whatever. Use a, a regular towel if you uh, wanna be more environmentally conscious. Okay, get it really dry. Make sure to really dry off around your cramp. You don't want any water left in there. Water causes rust. There we go. I'm gonna put this harp in my mouth. We're gonna play it. We're gonna see where we're at. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned all of them up. Here is the one that we cleaned in the box and there is some pitting to it, deeper pitting. I might even soak that one in vinegar, but the rest of them we were able to get really fairly clean. They didn't have the deep pitting. Here is the melodic one, and we'll take a second look at the gaps on that melodic one. And this is right above a G2. Now, most of these are gonna be hung on the wall. Um, this one will not be played, it has solder on it. This one, the reed is too badly pitted to be played. It also has solder. I'm betting, I would bet money, the solder from this time period, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s, that's gonna be lead-based solder. So that's not gonna be one that I'm gonna play and put in my mouth, but let's get an ear on these. Okay, here's our nicely cleaned up and dried harp. And I noticed when I put this in my mouth, I noticed it's a little bit sharp there. So I'm gonna take a file with two safe edges on it and just nicely dress those ends. Because yeah, that's kind of cutting into the edges of my lips where it goes. Don't like that. So we're just gonna dress them just a little bit. Just a little micro file with one file side two safe sides, although you could, you could use any type of file or stone. Just want to make sure it's not too aggressive. Cleaned off nicely. Let's see how this harp sounds. Yeah. 